what is going on guys welcome back to another video so it has been two weeks since i um, sterilized the media and the magenta boxes and they are here so let's check the time lapse and see the results All right, so as you saw on the time lapse, uh, most of the containers got contaminated, but we still have two that are still very clean, uh, one with agar and one with kale and gum. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take those two, um, all the other, the contaminated media, I think that's too much now, and I'm going to discard those. I'm going to clean those containers and I'm going to use it for something else. The two that are left that are still clean, I'm going to give them one more um, dose uh, of UV light for 30 minutes and then I'm going to put some plants in them. And then after that, I'm going to place them back here in, the, in this box and I'm going to keep the time lapse going for, for however long I think it uh, will be fine for, for this experiment. So... I will see you in a moment. Okay, so the contaminated media is, is out. I want to clean those containers. And these are the ones that still look fairly clean. Um, this one doesn't have any bacteria whatsoever. Or for As long as I can see, it doesn't have any contamination. Looks very clean. This is the one with agar. The one with gel and gum, which I don't know what happened to the gel and gum. Like I say, it didn't solidify properly i probably didn't didn't cook it for long enough i mean it's solid it's just not clear um it does have some bacteria it's quite light yeah, you can probably see it right there or oh, there, there is something else you can see it right there so it's not completely clear but it's nothing major. So I'm going to put this here, put this here. Now I'm going to, this is the normal light. Oh, or I also increase the height of it so they, they are closer to the UV light. And now I'm going to put my glasses, my um, UV protection glasses on. And then I'm going to turn the UV light. And then I'm going to give it 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to take them out. And then I want to wait one day because it's already quite late today and I want to put some plants in them. All right. There is a UV light. All right, it has been 30 minutes and it's time to turn off the UV light, turn on the normal light and we are done for today. Uh, tomorrow I want to add some plants and let's see what happens. All right, so the magenta boxes are packed in the box uh, and I also have the time-lapse camera uh, recording and everything that that's happened. Um, that's probably going to take maybe one or two weeks to see if they get contaminated or not. Uh, the plants I put in the boxes are Drosera capillaris and they both look very similar. Uh, let's see what, what happens. They didn't have any contamination to start off. I was thinking of using something that was already have um, some uh, bacterial contamination to see if that, that was going to contaminate the containers but i think it's better to start with clean material as if there is any contamination it will be because of the it didn't it, it was not sterilized uh, at the beginning 
So that's pretty much everything. Uh, it's going to take me maybe one or two weeks to see if there is any contamination. And well, I will make an update video whenever I think it's, it's safe to say if it's uh, either UV light is an effective effective way to sterilize um, not only tissue culture media because I know that it works, but also to, to sterilize the containers. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.